It's a beautiful night for a college baseball game here in Gainesville, Florida, and a couple of ranked in-state rivals get ready to battle at the brand new Florida ballpark. It's in the uh, mid-60s, expected to drop down in the 40s. And the first pitch a little high. He did, and that ball is drilled out of the gap in right center field, so a good start for the Owls, as it looked like Alvarez expected fastball, and he turned all over it. Gotten way better through the years. This ball's hit hard, and that's pass Armstrong into right field. So going first to third will be Alvarez. Back-to-back -back singles here for the Owls, and they've got something going here early on. The change. He goes fastball, and it's popped straight up the chute. Armstrong in foul territory. Looks like he's going to have a play. That's a big league pop-up, though, and Armstrong able to secure it for a big first out here in the top of inning number one. That one is hit hard. Out towards center, Fabian will run it down, but plenty deep enough as Alvarez will tag from third. So a successful sacrifice fly for Mitchell Hardigan, and the Owls up early here, one nothing. But still a nice comeback for Milchin here. First and third, nobody out. 3-2 pitch he had to make to the three-hole hitter. A couple pitches later, it's only one nothing with two outs. Yeah, that pitch real. It's to a 20-pitch count. There is a good changeup in that. Will do it. First strikeout for Milchin, but he also gives up the first run. And this one is grounded back up the middle. Make it 27 games in a row. So Young again in his first at bat takes the streak uh, out of whack. And just like that, the Gators get the leadoff man on. Runner goes, that pitches inside, so it will not matter. Ball four. So the Gators trying to answer the one that the Owls put up. Off-speed pitch, and it's a pop-up. That'll be an infield fly as low the second baseman will drift in. So just like we saw in the first inning with Florida Atlantic, first two guys get on base, and then the full count to the cleanup man. And Butler chases one off the plate for strike three. The 2-2. And a swing and a miss. So Stewart comes back after putting the first two on base and gets a pop-up and a couple of strikeouts. Good first inning. Four. In the same inning. And Milchin will strike him out here. Breaking ball down in the dirt. He didn't think he swung, but Hickey did a nice job in Pendleton. Especially if he throws pitches like that. Two strikeouts in the inning. He has struck out three of the last four hitters. And all the way back to a full count. And that one is inside. So a leadoff walk. <laughs> 3-2 pitch. That one's drilled deep down the right field line. This ball's got a chance to get out, and it does. The first career home run for Colby Halter gets on the berm and gives the Gators a 2-1 to -one lead. So he caught up to that fastball, timed it well, and got it on out of here. And saw it. This kid's really impressive. We know he's a outstanding defensive player, but he's starting to really swing that bat. He's earning every day playing time. And I said earning it. That pitch is up too. And his teammates have been swinging through that pitch tonight. But not Halter. Yeah, that's that's actually rising. So really tough to, to go up and get that ball. And he did it successfully. When, when Kirby McMullen went down, slow roller to short. Alvarez has it. It's going to be a tough play, and Carrion beat it. That's what Kevin O'Sullivan likes the most about Jordan Carrion. And oh. as this ball gets thrown away, Carrion's going to be at third easily on this one. Ace this year than last year. Slow roller. It'll be Alvarez with another chance. He'll have to hurry again. This time a much stronger throw, and he will beat Fabian by a step and a half. But the game bag hits this ball hard, and Armstrong can't handle it. That's going to get all the way to the corner, and we'll see how far Alvarez can get. Thompson got it in there very quickly, played it nicely before it got to the wall. But how about the leadoff man? A single in the first, a double here in the third. Murray. Steps in there. He hits the ball hard. Armstrong lets it go, and that's going to sneak out into right field. Thompson has trouble with it. He bobbles it. So Murray's going to get second base. 
So just like that, the Gators take the lead. The Owls answer right back. They have four hits tonight, and all four of them coming from the two guys at the top of the order. That's a base hit E9. The RBI and earned run is going to go to Murray because they were waving Alvarez. He would have scored easily, but the error allows Murray to go from first to second. Yeah, Thompson just... It was his ninth RBI of the year, and he might get his tenth here. Ground ball out into left field. Jacob Young has it. Going to be a play at the plate. It's going to be close, and he's out. A two-hopper, but a strike right to Nathan Hickey as Murray is shot down at home plate to keep this game tied. So not only has Jacob Young done it with his bat, his second outfield assist of the season. Well, he, what else can this guy do? He gets hits, he gets straight, but let me show you the arm. Puts it right on play. Murray, dead to right, tight tag by Hickey. We are. Well, that one didn't break. And DeSantolo wore it right between the one and the nine, so not a good start for Vanderweide. Way quicker. Here's one out towards short. Rivera has it. Long throw is in time, as low was a little too slow. And that will do it for the Owls. So the lead. Cooley back to work, and Jordan Butler drills one into center. Just like that, Butler has a nine-game hitting streak, and he's trying to stretch that into a double, and he is successful. Nice hustle there by Jordan Butler as that ball came into no man's land, but Nick, you got to love that right there. He awaits the 2-2, and he does hit it the other way, but on a line, and Jordan's going to be doubled up. Back on a line drive is what you're always taught, and Butler went forward. So just like that, a couple of Gators are raced. You look at your screen, Butler did take a step and a half, then he put on the brakes, but it was too late. As this one is hit out into right field and over Carrion's head for a base hit. The Owls have out hit the Gators tonight, seven to four. Count. And he got him. Good fastball high and out of the strike zone, and Butler gets the second out of the inning. 2-2 pitch. He dropped down, and he got him. The Butler did it. A couple of strikeouts as he comes in and gets the nine hole. That I have in my backpack. Thank goodness. I had some awaits the 0-1, and there's that good breaking ball and a chance for two. Rivera to carry on to Cali Lau. Pitcher's best friend, and Manning only has to throw a couple of them to get the 6-4-3 inning-ending double play. Face Jacob Young, and now Young drills one right back where it came from, and that'll fall into center field, his second hit of the night. Young is now 13 for his last 26. He really hard from left center field, and Butler hits one hard out towards second. A nice backhanded play, though. The throw is in time, and Sam Lowe went down low and got it. Two balls and two strikes here. And this one out towards short again. Rivera with a nice backhand, sets his feet, high throw, and he's safe. For Rivera, that is his fifth error of the season more than... It's a fastball, and it's out towards center, but Judd Fabian will get there and retire the side. So the last couple of innings, there have been threats from both sides, but still... Thompson got a fastball, and he took it low. So the winning run on base now. And he gets a breaking ball, but hits it right to the shortstop. He'll step on second, fire over to first, and we're playing extras here tonight at the Florida ballpark. Kendrick Cap the two tonight. Good off-speed pitch, but it is drilled into left field for a base hit, and Alvarez is on for the third time tonight and represents that go-ahead run. There goes the runner. And this ball is hit right to second, but it's right under the glove of Rivera. Another error for him. That's going to extend the inning. Nobody is there for the cutoff. Rivera just picked the glove up, didn't leave it on the ground. He had plenty of time to secure the out. And I don't know if he was distracted by the runner coming at him. Let's see. Out of the corner of his eye, he knows the runner's coming, but it really didn't look like it made a difference because he was well in front of the bag. 18 there, and he's going to give the Owls the lead, a 3-1 fastball. 
And for the first time since the third inning, a run is put up on the board as Hardigan comes through with his second hit of the night. Got a pitch right down the middle. Didn't try to do too much with it. Slaps it right up the middle for a base hit. It'll be an unearned run, but that does not matter if you're in that. But he gets that hitter on a couple of good fastballs, and it will retire the side, but it's a breaking ball, and Halter takes it for strike. Really nice pitch by Intenza. That bloop will try to sneak in, but it does not. A heck of a play by Jackson Wenstrom, who had to run a long way in an all-out layout. Gets a second out of the inning. You know, a very talented kid, great athlete. We talked about the former Army Ranger lays out. Here, you know he's going to give up his body. Great catch. Timed that perfect, too. And that breaking ball is called strike three. Young does not agree, but the Owls have strolled into Gainesville and upset the sixth-ranked Florida Gators on another breaking ball from Mike Intenza as he sets the Gators down one, two, three in the tenth inning.